Hey everyone, welcome to Inside Out Beam. Today I'm going to show you how to leverage the power of trajectory segmentation and maximum segment angle. So maybe you find yourself in a situation where you need to have a circle, but sometimes you need to have a square, for example, right? So you specify the radius for your circle, but in some scenarios you would like to have a square, maybe you have some sort of a skylight or some stuff like that. So I think that a lot of people are not aware of this tool. So I'm going to show you how you can have a circle, but actually you have a, a square or even, or you can even turn this into some other shapes. So let's go to Revit. So what I have here is that if I go to family types, I can have tick that off and this will become a circle. I can tick this back on and that will become a square but also I can change this angle and that will uh, kind of divide this into these parts, into these segmentational parts. So let's create a new family and I'm gonna show you how you can create this. So let's go to new family, default generic model. So uh, what is the unique feature that you have when it comes to creating curves, right? It can be an arc, it can be like a circle, right? But just some curve. So if I go, for example, uh, to sweep, right, sweep, and I'm going to the sketch path and I can select, it can be either circle or just some arcs, right? So all of these tools. So when you create a circle, you need to actually pay attention to, uh, to, to these amazing options that you have. So basically you have the trajectory segmentation. So whenever you create some shape out of this so let's go to 3d and let's create some 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 profile so we can go to finish the sketch path we can go to edit profile and let's create some, oops let's create something like this right it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you can go back and even kind of um, let's go to the circle you can of course make the center mark visible you can align this right so it always stay on the center it's not that important. It's not the point of this video. It's just to show you a cool trick about segmentations and trajectory segmentation. But let's name this radius so you can see how that works. So basically we have a parameter for radius, right? That controls the radius of this thing. But what is an amazing feature that we have over here that if you turn on segmentation, it will actually generate a, a square so just go and try it yourself in terms of create just some other arcs and see how that works. So for example, if I go to create and I use sweep, right? And I use something like this, even like this, let's kind of try this one out, right? Let's go to 3D and let's just kind of create some, some profile. Right, so we can generate some profile, the same one. You can play around with this and generate these segmentations and see how that works. So you can find a use for this. So what we can do right now, so as you can notice, we can have, when we turn this on, we have the option to control maximum segment angle. So basically when you go to 50, it will generate small portions of this. And not only this, but you can also turn this into parameters. So basically you can go and say, you know, I don't want this skylight. For example, this is a skylight. I don't want this skylight to be a circular. I want this to be of a square shape, right? So you can type square and let's go with okay. Let's make this back to, th let's make this back to 360. And now when I go to family uh, types, I can tick this off. I'll have circle. I can tick this on, I'll have square. I can control the radius and this one will be affected by this. There is a cool feature and also you can go and uh, connect, kind of hook it up, hook these parameters up to your, uh, to your family, like name this angle, doesn't that matter. But the point is that right now you can break this into segments. I don't know if you can find use for, I'm hope, I, I hope you do, but actually I think that is, um, the thing that I wanted to focus on is that square option. So you can kind of toggle between them and check out if that is the right thing for you. 
So yeah, that is the quick trick for today. I hope there was a useful tutorial for you. So if you find this video useful, please like and share this video. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.